I'm Anya Fernald. I'm a mother and an entrepreneur, and I love building communities through food. I've always wanted to work in food. Ever since I was a little kid, I love to get people around the table. Early on in my career, I saw that in the food space, it took a lot of commitment to kind of stick to something unusual and make something big of it. And my mentors definitely modeled that for me. If you have a good idea, if you have a deep passion, follow it through. Don't be worried about what the world says and grow it big. I co-founded Belcampo in 2011 with an investor behind my company. And a year later, we opened up our first shop in Marin and started our farming operations about six months after that date as well. Belcampo addresses a big change in America, which is that many people are concerned about the health of their meat. They want to make sure that the animals that they buy their steaks from are humanely raised, are healthy, are kept in an outdoor, free-range environment. And we're addressing that need by providing that product on a much broader scale than has been achieved to date. We have 12 species on the farm. We're proud to raise everything free-range, Animal Welfare Association approved. We mix the species together to improve the pasture's health and a year-round lush pasture, which is part of why our beef is so amazing. I'm extremely mobile. I have to be able to pick up on a minute's notice and head off to a shop or back to the office. I'm always, always on the go. Hey, Bronwyn, what's up? Hey, we're all at the barn. Are you close? Yeah, I'm about to swing by right now. Can I pick up anything on my way? It would be great if you could grab some sausages, actually. Yeah, I'll go get it from the walk-in. My elevated moment was in 2009 when I organized the first Eat Real, and it was a real kind of grassroots effort. A bunch of friends got together and basically we were trying to throw a party. And we were expecting 20,000 people and 70,000 people came. But the vibe at Eat Real is very, very friendly, very upbeat. We're just trying to create a super positive, low-key, fun festival. Other question. This is all 100% grass finish. I've worked my whole career in how do you bring good food and good farming together and bring it to the people of America on a bigger scale? I want our company to be a company where people spend 10, 15, 20 years, where we build a skill set and a knowledge base and a community that really grows with the company. Bring really good paying, long-term, serious careers back to rural communities. The kind of advice I'd give to new entrepreneurs in my space is learn from what's out there, but be inspired by breaking the mold. Be really true to yourself. Don't do something that every day doesn't make you thrilled because you're going to work really hard. <laughs> so you better be loving it. Toyota, let's go places.